Hello champions and future champions, hello chess mod family, GM Gabuzian is here with you and we are beginning our daily lesson. Today we are going to cover a very interesting topic which is called the blessed ramate. In this position white is playing bishop c6 and mating with the queen which is taking the squares from black king and the bishop. The blessed ramate is a checkmate pattern that features optimal coordination between a queen and bishop. It's similar to Baden's mate. The difference is that the latter involves two bishops instead of a queen and bishop. It appears that the name Blestra mate, performed by a queen and bishop, was first used as a tag on chesstempo.com in order to distinguish it from Bodens mate, which involves two bishops. An important observation here is that in the case of Blestra mate, the bishop must be the checking piece if the queen has the task to block all escape squares. So now you are familiar with this topic, let's go ahead and see our next example. Here in this position guys, it's white to move and your simple goal is to conduct the Blestra mate. Now white is playing, rook takes f6, pawn takes, queen takes f6 check, King e8 and bishop c6 checkmate. Queen is taking the squares of king and bishop is checkmating. Let's go ahead to see the next position. This is position from a practical game. White is trying to attack and is missing a piece. Now it's white to move guys and you can pause the video trying to figure out how to mate here for white. Here we're beginning with knight e6. If black is taking we play queen e6 check. King d8, rook takes d7, another beautiful exchange sacrifice. Queen d7, rook d1, white sacrificed all the army, but after queen takes d1, white is conducting bishop b6, the blessed ram mate again. A beautiful variation possible for white. If after rook d1 in this position, black is trying to play bishop to c6, White is getting a winning position with rook takes d7, bishop takes and queen d5. Even though now black has two rooks and a bishop for the queen, white is very active, king is in the center, e6 is a threat, so black is having many issues and for this reason this position is considered as a winning one for white. Also, at the beginning in this position, if you paid attention, black can try to ignore this peace sacrifice, but it's not working as well. Going queen c6, Knight takes g7 check. Now if black is deciding to take, white is again winning with queen f7, king d8 and the same tactic is possible, rook d7, queen d7, rook d1. Now if queen takes d1, we play bishop b6 check followed by checkmate on c7 square. And if after knight g7 check, black is deciding to go king d8, now we have to play rook d2, since there is a checkmate threat on g2, we shouldn't be forgetting about it. And after bishop takes g7, we just play rook to f7. Again, the d7 is hanging, also the bishop on g7, so with this huge activity of the heavy pieces, white is again having a winning position. I hope you liked this little bit complex example, let's now go ahead to see the next one. In this position, it's black to move, guys, and black is having very strong, but at the same time difficult to see combination here. You can pause the video and try to think about it. Now, black is beginning with a5, attacking this queen. The idea is that after queen a4, we're having knight c5, which is extremely strong move. The thing is that if white is taking, otherwise the queen was trapped, we play rook e3, knight takes, rook takes e3, pawn takes and bishop g3, the Blestra checkmate again. Black sacrificed all the pieces and mated king in the center. I really like this attacking option. So if after knight c5 here, white is trying to ignore it and is playing bishop f1, we are just able to play rook e3, Pawn takes rook e3, knight e3 and queen e3. Now black is going to win the queen on a4 and again will be getting a winning position due to queen and huge activity. Also white king will be super much weakened. So with this beginning a5 move black is conducting very beautiful combination with knight c5 move guys. Let's go ahead to see the next example. 
Now white is having a very strong attack even though white is missing a piece. So again you can pause the video and try to find our mating pattern in this position. We are beginning to give away our pieces. The thing is that now if we don't have the rook on d2 and knight on f4, we will be able to play rook takes f6 and bishop h6 checkmate. So now we are simply giving away the pieces. Knight g6 check, bishop takes. Rook d8 check, rook takes d8 and rook f6 check. g takes f6 is a forced move and bishop h6 is our checkmate. Again, white is just getting rid of the wrong pieces and making this beautiful checkmate working. Let's go ahead to see the next one. You can be looking for the same idea in this position. Again, white to move. You can try to find the victory, guys. Now, we have an obstacle which is knight on c7, covering this square, and also knight on c4 which is blocking the bishop. So, one by one, we're just getting rid of all of these obstacles. Playing knight b6, pawn takes, rook a check, knight takes a8, and bishop a6, checkmate again. In practice, you can be meeting this idea very often, and if you know it, you will be able to use this kind of tricks, guys. Let's go ahead to see the next one. In this position, it's white to move, and you can pause the video, guys, trying to figure out how to play here for a white. Have your mind that white is missing a pawn, so you need to play very, very active. We are beginning with rook takes e6, pawn takes, queen e6 check. Now black is having two logical moves, king h7 will be just lost off a time, so there is bishop e4. So there is king h8 and king f8. If black goes king h8, we're easily mating with rook h6, pawn takes, queen takes, and after king g8, bishop d5 checkmate. Another time, blessed threat mate is happening. And after queen e6 check in this position, if black goes king f8, white is winning with bishop d5, knight f6, and rook takes h6. The thing is now black can't be taking on d5 since rook h8 is mating. Otherwise, if black is taking the rook, we play queen f6 check, king e8, queen g6, king e7, queen f7, king d6, and queen e6 checkmate. White in a few moves just destroyed all black's king side and made the beautiful mate in a center. So, this was the last example prepared for you. Let's now go to the next position, which will be your homework for this topic. Here, it's white to move, we're missing a piece and two pawns, but black king is in the center. So guys, you can be sharing your thoughts and ideas how to play with white in this position in the comments section below. GM Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.